What's up, everybody? MagicRacing.com here to watch the grade one spinster stakes from Keeneland. This is a Breeders' Cup winning year in for the disc staff. Obviously, an important race for the Breeders' Cup disc staff because it will be held over the exact same course and distance in just a few weeks. And by the way, before we go any further, don't forget, subscribe to Racing Dude's YouTube channel right now if you haven't. Search the notification bell. We've got so much Breeders' Cup content between previews, picks, news, hot takes, all sorts of great stuff coming on the YouTube channel. You're not going to miss any of that. So make sure you do all the subscribing and notifying and all that stuff. They're shown right there on the screen. Uh, the three horse, your defending champion, Matruska, at this point last year was just absolutely on fire. One, two, three, four, five. It was her sixth straight win. She was constantly keeping grade one, grade two company. She went to the Breeders' Cup disc staff, had a terrible uh, pace duel that she got caught up in and, and faded to 10th of, of eleven. She came back and won a couple races to start the year, but then the Ogden Phipps was a complete dud for her. The personal ensign, not great. She just completely blew the break right there. That was not good. That was the last thing you needed to see Latruska do. Oh, boy. She's going to go back up there, but you got played hard to your inside, and <laughs> you've got Princess of Cairo, and you're out there. Uh, played hard is no surprise doing this. She almost went gate to wire to win the grade three Locust Grove at Churchill Downs last out, but and, and it was a very impressive, or probably the best effort of her career, but Latruska is just naturally faster, and you see that now in the backstretch. Latruska is trying to range up there and go, this is, oh boy, as a fan of Latruska, I, this was a now or never situation. If she didn't show up and win here, this was you need to retire because um, she just doesn't have it anymore. You know, who's getting the perfect trip is is that big favorite. Your two to five favorite Malathat is perfectly spotted in fourth there. Uh, in the same, almost the same trip that she got in the personal ensign when she sat a couple of lengths behind Latruska early and then just blew or blew Latruska away in the stretch. Um, there's no search results in here. Army wife might. I mean, I don't. I haven't been a huge fan of Army wife, but at this rate, it's setting up for Malathat. <sighs> Army wife's exact. To, come on, look at it. Malathat's just going to blow right past her. That's not the same Latruska anymore. It's sad. Hey, Army wife's coming, man. Is, like, like I said, this is the horse I don't usually give that. Uh, she's probably going to get second here. Malathat's got this. We saw Nest win the Bell Dame Stakes, look extremely impressive, her first test against the Elders. You now have, for the Breeders' Cup Disc staff, two Ty Fletcher trainees in Nest and Malathat. Both of them uh, just a beautifully bred daughters of Curlin out of AP Indy Mares. Um, both won the, or well, actually, I shouldn't say both, but both won the Alabama Stakes. Uh, Malathat won the Kentucky Oaks. Nest was second. Nest won the CCA Oaks. Malathat was second her year. Um, both of them on the Ashland Stakes at Keelan. So many uh, similarities between the two, but that's kind of where it ends. Uh, Nest is an explosive horse. Malathat's a grinder. Malathat ranged up and then grinded away and grinded away. If, if that was Nest, Nest is gone by five lengths from, if she made that same move in the turn, Nest is gone by five lengths halfway home. That's not to discount Malathat. Malathat, very impressive. That's her second straight grade one win. Um, that's the one, two, Three, four, fifth of her career. Yeah, that's pretty damn good, especially for a million dollar uh, purchase. You don't usually see those turn out all that strong. Um, she's going to be, gosh, she's got to be over close to $3 million earned now. That's really impressive. Um, as far as the Breeders' Cup goes, Nest is still my top pick. Now that, that looked great. Uh, Army Wife closed. <laughs> yeah. And the other three, let, Retire Latruska. You see right there, she she's slow out of the break, but. She just isn't herself. That's just three straight races where she just is not herself anymore. And it's sad, but it's, you know, I think they'll they'll do the right thing to retire. She's owned by her breeder, so she'll go be a super mommy now. But uh, what did you think about this race? We know with the Breeders' Cup distaff. Let me know down below in the comments section. And remember, racingnews.com, we have the inside track to the 2022 Breeders' Cup wagering guide coming soon. We have cashed for thousands with our wagering guys in the past. We want you joining on the fun. We'll see you there. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best betting tips and coverage for the 2022 Breeders' Cup. Our wagering guides have cashed for thousands. You cannot miss our 2022 Inside Track wagering guide to the Breeders' Cup. So hurry up and subscribe, then go to RacingDudes.com, check out the free picks for every race, every track across the country, and the Inside Track to the Breeders' Cup wagering guide available soon.